part eight of our simple Python turtle graphics game using classes. Um, so in this uh, you know, installment, we're gonna learn how to put a background image into our game and to play sound. Now the sound will only work on a Mac. I'll also talk briefly about Linux. Uh, Windows has some other system that I'm not familiar with, so I'm sorry about that. But it's called WinSound, so if you've gotten this far, you can probably you know, do a little Googling and, and sort that one out. Anyway, so here's what we have so far. Okay, so we got nothing in the background, but we got scoring. Every time we collide, score goes up by 20. You know, the game goes on forever. It's you know kind of pointless, but uh, yeah, just good practice. And so let's get rid of that. Now what I want to change it to is I'm going to put a background in. And to do that, I use bgpick. So it's our window bg pick and then the name of the file. Okay, so if I go to this folder, so this is the exact same folder that this Python file is in. It has to be the same folder. So you see kbgame-bg.gif, I think it's pronounced, um, and that's what we're going to be using. For some reason, uh, at least on my computer, it seems like only GIFs work. So if you have a PNG or a uh, let's see, a JPEG, you might want to switch it to a GIF using a GIMP or Photoshop if you have something like that. Okay. So that will load it. Now, let's run it and I'll show you. Okay, so now you've got this nice cool little background. Now, if you remember, our borders were plus 300 and minus 300. So uh, that means the image needs to be 600 by 600. So that puts it right inside of the border. Okay, so you got to calculate that based on however big you want to make your game if you start you know, updating things and making your own stuff. Uh, so that's one part of it. So it's pretty simple. You just got to get an image. It's got to be in the right format, and it's got to be in the same folder. And then just, boom, make sure it's got the right name. So setting up your screen. Now, playing a sound. Um, what I've done is I've made a new method inside of my game class. And didn't have to do it. I could put this somewhere else, but or I could have put it outside. Doesn't really matter. Uh, but what I did was I made a new uh, class method called play sound. Okay. And so what I'm going to be doing is when I call it, I'm going to send the file name. So that'll be the name of the file. So in this case, oops, did I close that? That wasn't very bright. Uh, stop and KB game new. So I have a file here called collision.mp3. Okay, so that's, that's going to be the sound that I want to play. So again, same folder. Um, MP3s work, and it sounds like this. Okay, I downloaded that from a free site. You can do a little Googling, get something that's, that's free that you like. Um, and how I actually play the sound is uh, using OS. So, so import OS, I have to import that. And what happens is I this sends a command to the operating system, and in this case it's called AF Play. Now this only works on a Mac. Okay, if you have Linux, you could do A Play, and that will work as well. But on a Mac, it's AF Play. Again, Windows uses something different. You'll have to Google that one. So the file name is going to go here. So that's the file name. So in this case, Collision.mp3, and then and what the and does um, if I don't have the and I'll show you what happens if we don't have the and so watch what happens when I have a collision okay the game is stopped until the sound is finished okay clearly we don't want that to happen okay so if I put the and symbol or the ampersand back the game will keep playing even after a collision so while the sound's playing, it plays in the background. Okay, see how the game keeps going. So that's that's what we want, especially as we start adding, you know, audio to our games. So I've created the method, and then you got to think about this. When do I want to call the method? I want to call this method when there's a collision between the player and the goal. Okay, so I come down to here, check for a collision between the player and the goal. Go figure. So the goal jumps, game changes score, and the game plays the sound. Okay, again. It's the file name, in this case collision.mp3, check the capitalization, usually matters. And that's sent up to my method. And so it comes out AF play space 
collision.mp3 ampersand and the sound is played and voila so this is basically kind of our finished product um, didn't really plan to add anything else maybe I'll add one more because I just thought of something that would be really cool um, and we got a little simple game that I can fly around so I've practiced using classes uh, I've used lists I've done all kinds of stuff sound I've done background images and so basically you can see now you've got like all the basic you know things that you need to, to actually make your own game um, you've got objects on the screen you know how to check for collisions and you can make things happen uh, when when there are you know collisions and other things so that is that